Hi, it's Sarah, and welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, then I would highly suggest for you to go and check out my other videos and see if you like me. Don't leave, though. If you have seen my Get to Know Me video, then you would know that I love, love, love reading. So, in honor of the new movie, The Darkest Mind, that just came out, I am going to do a book slash movie review on it. We'll start with the book. So this book is the first one of the trilogy. So The Darkest Minds is the first book. Never Fade is second in the trilogy. In the Afterlight is the third and final book in the trilogy. Through the Dark is a spin-off. Well, it's more you read the three, four stories that are in here in between each of the Darkest Minds or in the middle of the reading one of the main three books. And so, you know, I have all four. If you were one of my friends or someone that's close to me, you would know that I was obsessed with reading this book for quite some time. I wouldn't leave this book alone. I would take it everywhere with me. So I'll just read off the back of the book so you guys have an idea of what this book is all about. So let's go. When Ruby woke up on her 10th birthday, something about her has changed. Something frightening enough to make her parents lock her in the garage and call the police. Something that got her sent to Termond, a brutal government rehabilitation camp. She might have survived the mysterious disease that had killed most of the America's children, but she and the others have emerged with something far worse, frightening abilities that they could not control. Now 16, Ruby is one of the dangerous ones. When the truth came out, Ruby barely escaped Thermon with her life. She is on the run, desperate to find the only safe haven left for the kids like her, East River. She joins a group of kids who have escaped their own camp. Liam, their brave leader, is falling hard for Ruby. But no matter how much she aches for him, Ruby can't risk getting close, not after what happened to her parents. When they arrived at East River, nothing is as it seems, least of all its mysterious leader. But there are other forces at work, people who will stop at nothing to use Ruby in their fight against the, against the government. Ruby will be faced with a terrible choice, one that may mean giving up her only chance at having a life worth living. <laughs> Alexander Bracken is freaking amazing. I highly, highly, highly suggest to read the book. I freaking love it. I love the characters so much and their growth and how they go through the trilogy. <laughs> their struggles are so real that you can feel it, especially being a teenager or a young adult. You relate to them even though your experiences aren't, aren't exactly the same. <laughs> because I've read the book so much, I end up relating to Ruby so much. She is so powerful and yet she's so resistant to using her abilities because she knows how much damage she could do. If Ruby had the choice, she would never use her abilities. Honestly, she would never use them. But she uses them to protect her friends. She was resistant to becoming cocky and manipulating other people's minds. She didn't want to use her abilities for her own benefit. The only time she actually used it mainly for her own benefit was the second time when she used her ability and it was to make sure that she wasn't treated like an animal, like an orange. That's the color she is by the way. But other times when she used her abilities it was to protect her friends and I admire her so much. Or she used it because it was accidental. She didn't mean to use her powers. And she can't really control her powers. And that's terrifying. She realizes 
that people's minds are precious and private and that she wouldn't want someone peering into her her own mind just like how she could to other people's minds. There's so much action and humor in this book and I highly suggest it for people who really liked the really popular series like Divergent and The Hunger Games. This book has its own special twist to it, of course, just like every other book. But I would highly suggest to read the book. If you haven't read the book or seen the movie, I would highly suggest to stop right here. Like, to stop. Don't. Pause the video, go to a different video on my channel, and enjoy the video. But don't go past this line, because there's going to be spoilers. The movie. The movie, to me, was a disaster. Horrible. Don't get me wrong, I love the actors. I love Amanda Stenberg, she's beautiful. I think she's amazing. And I want to hug her, and I want to tell her that she did a great job. All the actors did what they needed to do. The writer's low. <laughs> they missed so many important details. They missed, they could have grown the character so much in the movie. They could, oh, they took out so much from the storyline. It's not even funny. Like, this is not amusing. I was scared to see the movie. I was like, I don't want to see this movie. But my sister was like, yo, holla, I want to go see the movie. And I was like, mm, Amanda, I don't really want to. She's like, come on, Sarah, it'll be fun. So, I just went and saw the movie, you know, just for my sister. That was the worst decision I ever made in my life. I was so resistant to avoiding this movie at all costs. And no wonder why. It was... <laughs> for any book fans who are wanting to see this movie, if you're okay with them changing so much of the storyline that you barely recognize it, then sure, go ahead, go watch the movie. But if you're a die-hard book reader like me, don't. Just, no. Nada. Like, excuse you, but Sue is supposed to have a buzz cut because of the lice that she contacted in her camp. But no, the girl came out with freaking long hair. And I'm like, okay. Small detail, not happy, but rubber, small detail. Hope they don't miss much more. Oh, what they did. They didn't even grow Elizabeth and Lu Ruby's storyline together, their friendship. They didn't even show that in the movie. And I was so pissed because Elizabeth's Ruby's only friend in that camp before she escaped. And Ruby by accidentally raises her mind, if you've seen the book, or Whatever. She was Ruby's best friend and they didn't even add that into the freaking storyline. Ruby by accidentally erases her mind and then Liz is like, I don't know you. And Liz makes friends with one of the girls who was kind of mean to Ruby. But what up? We were supposed to see that. But no. They don't incorporate that. And don't get me started on everything else. Like, when you go into someone's mind, you see their thoughts or views or the ways that they saw things through their eyes. 
Ruby, we're supposed to go into Sue's dream and be Sue, trying escaping the camp that night while kids are being shot down and blood in the snow. But no, Ruby just kind of standing on the outside like, oh, I'm observing things. Like, no, you have to see it through Sue's eyes because Sue doesn't have any other memory. Like, Sue can't see herself reacting. Sue is reacting and Ruby's supposed to be Sue in the dream. And I'm like, holy frick. Oh my god. Shut up. Also, in the movie, Ruby wasn't supposed to see her parents. She didn't go to the house in the middle of the book and look at their window and say, I wonder how they will react to me now, even though they don't know me. Like, no. So they put that into the storyline, and then Ruby runs away from the house like, Liam, Liam. And I'm like, Ruby is so much more stronger than that. Plus, she, she doesn't see their house. She doesn't even go visit their place. Like, what the frick? Liam was supposed to have a southern accent. And I am very disappointed because the actor himself can do a southern accent. But Liam, in the movie, doesn't have a southern accent. That what made him so freaking cute. The actor, by the way, is cute AF. Like, that's how I saw Liam. So, good job casting for that. The only person I really liked in the movie was Chubbs. The actor was perfect. He was perfect. The humor was spot on. And I'm like, yo, this dude actually read the book. And he actually understood Chubbs. And he actually studied Chubbs. He's brilliant. Like, he's perfect. And I'm like, okay. That's the only thing I'm satisfied about. Everything else can burn. Like, I want to redo the movie. Like, they skipped on so much. Like, oh my god. What the frick? And they took out that guy, Jake, from the book. They got Jake, their friend who was in the camp who died, and he had a letter for his father. And they totally took him out of the storyline. Like, that was so important. This is what, the, like, that's kind of the reason why the book ended. Because, you know, after the camp gets attacked and whatnot, and then they have the letter and Chubb's like, yo, with Liam and Ruby, he's like, okay, let's, like, let's go deliver it to his father. And the father, Jack. It was Jack. And they go deliver it to the father, and the father's like, who the hell are you? Brings out a gun and shoots Chubbs. Like, no, Chubbs didn't get burned. That's what happened in the movie. He got burned. But no, he gets shot by the guy's father. And the guy's father's like, oh, yo, holla, what do we do? And Ruby said, oh, I'll just hold this button for three seconds, and Kate will come with the Children's League. That's how, that's the reason why the Children's League found them at the end. Not because Chubbs got burned and Ruby was like, oh no, I'm by myself, I'm scared, I'm going to press this button. No, she pressed it because it was literally Chubbs and Liam, and they were trying to find the closest hospital, more more like Chubbs' father. And Ruby's like, they will never, will never make it, Chubbs will be dead. And she presses the button. And Sue was actually supposed to leave halfway through the camp. She was supposed to go with the little Asian group. Off. And Ruby and Liam were like, no, don't leave us. And Chubb's like, don't leave us. And, we, and Sue was like, this is my friend. That's my cousin. And I want to go hang out with my cousin. And we're going to go venture the world together. Like, but she actually doesn't talk. But that's how she was supposed to leave. Not by the raids, like the collection, the harvest. Like she was supposed to leave even way before the collection started. <sighs> Like, uh, they took out so many important things. It's not even funny. Like, how are they going to do the second movie? Like, some of the main things that happen in this book is for a reason. Because it transfers into the second book. And the second book transfers into the third book. What? I'm just...
I am mad. Like, I'm so done. Like, this is why I don't really particularly enjoy going to a movie that's based off of a book. Because either A, it's going to be a disaster show, or B, it's decent. There's only very, very few movies in this world that is spot on, based from the book. That is perfect. But this is a freaking nightmare. I. I hope you did go see the movie before you watch this video. Because I don't want my conceptions or my views impact the way you see the movie. But if you haven't seen the movie yet and you're planning to, and then you saw this video and you're like, oh, I definitely don't want to go see the movie. Then I'm sorry. But I really needed to rant about this. Because, like, I'm so disappointed. Crazy disappointed. Yeah. The actors did amazing, though. They did what they were told to. But I'm really disappointed. Like, they could develop Ruby's and Liz's storyline. They could have got the little Asian girl to put a wig cap on and have and it, it has a buzz cut on it so she actually looks like she does have a buzz cut because of the lace from her camp. They didn't actually go to the trailer park where they found the red dress. They didn't I'm just disappointed. It is what it is. I can't do anything about it. But I can hope you guys have a nice day compared to mine. <laughs> and don't forget to like and subscribe. I will be doing more of these book reviews because I really like books and I want my channel to be more diverse in what we talk about. And I hope you guys have a lovely day. Don't forget to like and subscribe and comment below what you like or your questions, your opinions, whatever you guys want to say. If you don't like this video, well, there's a thumbs down right there for you. And, well, I'll see you another time.